and the number one bed, excuse all the tools and various odd cell phones that are scattered around, and the shaking, like I said, it's part of my condition. I've got some snow peas that are looking great. These came from seed. Uh, the one in the front and the one in the very back uh, popped up first and this one came up. This one I wasn't sure if it would even do anything. It came up so late and then it was just a little bitty sprig when we put it in the bed uh, the other day. But all, of, all four of those are, are doing great, uh, growing swiftly. Uh, then of course the broccoli is looking good, the radishes scattered out throughout here, and then the strawberries that she decided to try to save in this bed. There's one and then three cascades off it, so that'll be four strawberries if they make it. Then this bed, I can't remember uh, what the stuff in the back is. <laughs> I really can't. There's, once again, radishes scattered through. This is either cabbage or cauliflower. Uh, looks like cauliflower. Yeah, I'd say this is the cauliflower. And then in the front, I had planted uh, three seedlings of red cabbage. Well, one of them, something pretty much ate, and it just wilted down to nothing. This one's not looking real good, but it's hanging in there, the one in the middle here. And then the one over on this end is doing fairly well. And this is the bed that kept flooding out, so that might have had something to do with the, the two that aren't making it, not making it. So uh, I don't know, but we'll see. But at any rate, I'm probably going to pull these seedlings up and replace them with the much larger seedlings that I bought from the store. So I, I figured it wasn't too bad. They're normally $3.98 a flat of nine, and uh, they're half price, so it's like $1.88 or something like that. Yeah, it was a buck eighty-eight for a flat of nine. So not too bad. Uh, so I went ahead and bought a few. Then and, this, and once again, radishes scattered out in between things. This bed, cabbage, green cabbage, radishes scattered out, uh, I believe it's turnip greens in the front on this one. Not positive. I'd have to double check. But uh, I believe it was the turnip greens. Then this bed has got uh, three acorn squash, one, two, and three. Uh, I can't remember what these are. I really can't. I'll have to look it up to see what those four are. Uh, they might have been more of the red cabbage for all I know. I'll have to look at the list. I keep forgetting. And then the front, uh, there's four butternut squash, which I've never grown acorn or butternut, so it's going to be an experience. Uh, the soon-to-be ex told me she thought that one of them was a climber, which I'll need to research them to find out. I thought that they were all ground squash. They're just winter and summer squash. So uh, acorn and butternut at any rate. Then this bed had the... Uh, head lettuce in it, the uh, iceberg lettuce that something ate, two of them to nothingness, and still got these leaves and chewed them down on this one. So it's probably history, so I'll only have five iceberg instead of eight. I put a strawberry in place of one of the iceberg that got eaten the other day uh, when I was going through the bin that had the men in it, pulling some men out. I pulled up another strawberry and stuck it over there underneath that eggplant. Then at any rate, we've got three cucumbers on this side that are doing great. Uh, they just barely had a single small adult leaf showing when we put them in, planted them. Now all three have uh, multiple adult leaves. Well, two, these two have multiple adult leaves and another shoot coming off. This one has, you know, was a little bit further behind. And then over on this side, two more cucumbers that are, uh, both of them have multiple adult leaves and coming up. And then once again, radishes scattered throughout. We got the iceberg back there, spinach scattered up front, and radishes. And look at that one. I mean, that was started from seed a week and a half ago. So radishes grow like gangbusters on this stuff. So then I've got radishes scattered all underneath the eggplant. The blackberries are still up here. They probably will be until spring. I'm just going to try to pull them around and get them to where they're draped over the backside there. Uh, and I've got the tomato suckers that I started. Uh, I think these are Rutgers. So I've got one right here and one right here. I had another one started. Yeah, it's still back there. I'm probably going to pull it out from under that eggplant and uh, plant it back in this back corner because I'm not sure how long this eggplant's going to make it anyway. So I'll probably pull that tomato out and put it up in this area here and uh, just train it to the wires as it goes up. 
but so far everything's looking good except for the little bit of lettuce that some bugs got a hold of and something apparently there he is okay I just looked down and saw this one radish has been massacred there's three little stems sticking up right here with no leaves and the one leaf that is there has a big chunk out of it and I'm like what in the world is eating this stuff and I look down and you, if you can see that guy this camera doesn't like to do close-up focus unless you set it beforehand there's a big caterpillar right here uh, don't fall down in the gravel I'll never get you out he curled up right away get out of my grow bed uh, he's on his way to being smashed it's pretty much looks like the same kind that I uh, got out the other day uh, suckers are about, about about an inch and a half long and this one's nice and fat because he's been living off my radish leaves he chewed off one over here chewed one off here almost killed this poor radish uh, what is that? that was some kind of little bug that just got smashed so well at any rate I'm about to feed him, see if tilapia like this version of caterpillar. Eh, drop him. That's all right, he just curled up. I don't like him opening up on me and biting, so I'm gonna. There he is, right there. Ugly, ugly, ugly. So, tilapia probably won't eat him, let's see. and gone that quick one of them just zoomed right up in there and said slurp I guess they will eat him uh, but that's the type of caterpillar I found when I uh, got on the first two notice the first two heads of a uh, iceberg lettuce gone but since then it doesn't appear like anything's been eaten up well yeah maybe no that's a new shoot coming off that it doesn't look like anything else has been eaten in this bed except for that one that was chewed back to stems. And I couldn't ever find another uh, caterpillar or other bug in this particular bed. Uh, I did catch a moth in here last night and got it out. Uh, unfortunately, by the time I got him out, because I grabbed him off the plastic up above, by the time I got him out and somewhere where I could smash him, he managed to escape me. But uh, hopefully I got him out before he could do any damage. I'm going to spray... Uh, the eggplant and all of the little starter plants uh, to try and get uh, ahead of the bugs this time. Anyway, that's where we're at. So, like I said, I'll try to do an update a week, uh, let everybody know what's going on. I've got to finish cleaning things up and putting my tools away from working on this system today on the water system. Uh, but I'm still... I'm really proud of my watering solution I came up with here. All I have to do is turn this ball, ball valve, just barely open, and boom, everything down that line is getting misted. And I can turn it up or down to control how far the water is coming out. And I'm really happy with the way that came out. Next time.